why we talk about prevention is actually in fact in this period of COVID period I've seen uh, more and more knee injuries because individuals pick up new sports okay so is it cycling because more people get on the bicycle I mean it's my own observation it's not only my own observation it's in the straight time but I do see that there are more people cycling and these people doesn't cycle short distance they really cycle and they prefer to cycle at night and they can cycle 50 to 60 kilometers. Some of my patients, they will cycle like two rounds around Singapore. And I have a patient that's an ultra marathon runner, they run 322 kilometers. Okay. So people pick up new sports, they get injuries and uh, people ignore pain, okay? persistent pain, not the two weeks kind of pain, but persistent pain. Some of them want to avoid going to see a doctor because of the fear of uh, uh, contracting COVID, which I perfectly understand. So they want to avoid going to hospital, avoid seeing a doctor. Okay? And some of the professionals and semi-professionals are worried that the injury is the end of the road for them and they don't want to declare. Okay, so the problem builds up like that. So environment, why I bring up environment is because during this COVID period, I, I can see that the change. First, firstly, people are avoiding gym or gym has been closed down. And many of my patients actually avoid gym even though it's open because closed door, mask down, they are not comfortable running with, 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 the, with, with other strangers. So they actually go move outdoor. And also day or night, so many of them switch to night. They actually exercise outdoor at night because they not used to the heat because they run in the gym in the aircon, and they also choose the night to avoid crowds. Okay, so that they they reduce the risk of uh, getting COVID. So so what this uh, impl implication is that because they switch from outdoor uh, indoor to outdoor, now the there's a lot of uh, uncontrolled variables such as the weather, the humidity, the heat. And it's very difficult for some of them to, to get used to it, especially for those that are deconditioned. And this could lead to injuries easily. Okay. So, and even if you choose to run in the gym, the issue is that some of the gym may not be so well conditioned. I mean, it may not be well maintained. So you must also be careful when you run in the gym. So you may want to choose a running track because the running track, after all, is soft or grass. Okay. And it's not easy to run in the grass. But if you choose a running track, just be wary. Not all the tracks are maintained in the same way. Let me look at the, the, the insert pictures over there. There are potholes everywhere in the running track. So there's something that is an extrinsic factors and you should avoid it or be aware of it so that you, you know how to deal with it when you run around the track. I think a good pair of shoes with thick heel pad with a good insole, depending on whether you're flat feet or, 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 or high arch, something that can support the insole a big enough toe box so that your toes doesn't squeeze inside you. and you feel generally you feel comfortable with it wearing it it should be fine okay as for knee guard i don't normally advocate wearing a knee guard because when you wear a knee guard your muscle actually goes into a hibernation because your body thinks that the knee is stable so they're not actually not working but on and off wearing a knee guard when you have pain with some instability i think it's a no harm okay? but not for the long hours and the last extrinsic factor is human factors. Okay, so these are the factors that's really, really difficult to control. It can only be controlled by choosing your opponent. You know? I mean, weekend warriors choose your friends to play with, or you can choose your sports that has no contact, you know? running, swimming, jogging. But if you really want to play contact sports, of course, contact sports, there's a higher risk for injuries. And it's something that you cannot change, but you can choose if you want to choose. Choose your friends, young patient nowadays, People are going to competitive sport earlier and earlier. Okay, so they as, as a primary school, they start training at high intensity, 10 hours, 12 hours. Okay, even though we are not talking about over usage today, we are talking about injuries, a lot of time they may present with pain. If they present with pain, a lot of time they may even attribute to growing pain and they continue to train. But the problem is that when they are still growing, it may affect their growth plates. So growth plates are present in uh, uh, individuals pre-puberty so there is a growth center of the bone so the bone get longer and longer they grow so you don't want to damage it by overusing it overloading it okay so it's important especially for kids maybe sometimes to take it easy and slow down a little bit if there's persistent pain so in this paper in from america it has uh, shown that the female athletes are two to eight times more likely than male athletes to get a anterior crucial ligament injury. This is very, very well proven that uh, females get more ligament injury for many factors that we shall go through later. One of the factors is they have a uh, wider pelvis. So they have, if you look at my uh, marker, they have wider pelvis. So the knee tends to point inwards. 
and the knee tends to collapse inwards when you load it, when you run, and when you don't pay attention, you run that way, and it's going to collapse, and the anterior crucial ligament is going to tear. This is very well proven, and we do have a program to educate them and condition them. So general health and physical fitness, of course, they are important and intrinsic factors. For a patient with less endurance, they tend to get injury at the end of the exercise regime. Okay, so it's important to step up slowly. Okay, so these are the factors that can be changed, that can be improved, and it takes time. Body composition, I mean a bigger size, uh, imagine a bigger size uh, individual, when they twist the knee, the forces over the knee will also be, be much higher. Okay, so the body composition is important in the skill level. I mean, higher skilled professional athletes, they generally have very good response time and they know how to cope with sudden and unexpected circumstances. Okay. So these are the intrinsic factors. Some can be changed, some cannot be changed, but you'll deal with it as it comes.